Students, when you are on your data collection adventure, you will need to make sure that you take note of your location, time of day, and temperature. If you have GPS capability on your phone, Google Maps, or some kind of map, then please make note of the animal's location when you find it. You can use this collaborative reptile collection map and mark the locations of your discoveries. For instance, here is an example. What you'll need to do is go to Maps, go to My Maps, go to the Reptile Collection Map, and here you will see where I located the ornate box turtle. I found him crossing the road on Highway T heading west around 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time and it was around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see I've located where the turtle was found and within the text box I wrote in the information. Later that day I found a red ear slider. I put down the pin where I found him, the turtle was heading east, crossed Highway 160, the temperature was around 64 degrees Fahrenheit at 2.30 p.m. Notice, just to see if I could understand what was going on here, see if there were any connections, the last update was by me, and as you can see, this line I drew is about five miles away. So with them being that far apart, there probably wasn't much connection besides that was a land turtle and that was an aquatic turtle. The other thing that might be interesting to point out here is that we do have this creek going through the area. And that's a good sign that we could have turtles. Um, but there's lots of bodies of water in this area anyway, as you can see. So I found this ornate turtle heading west across Highway T. And there you go, you can see a picture of him on the road. And of course, being on the highway like that, it's not a very safe place for him to be. He was just south of Southeast 20th Road in Barton County. There we have a picture of the roadside where I located him at, right there, southeast 20th Road. Please be careful when you stop for observations. The ideal situation would be to collect the animal and proceed to a side road. Using your handheld device, take multiple pictures of your turtle. Take pictures of the total body. top, bottom, and side. Also, take a picture of the feet to show how many toes the turtle has. This ornate turtle has four. One, two, three, four. The picture of the bottom can be used to identify the turtle's age due to the growth rings. Let's count the rings on this turtle and determine its age. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is about seven years old. If the turtle is cooperative, you can check the eyes to determine its sex. If you wait long enough, he or she may oblige, but be patient. When you are finished with your observations and you have gone through the observation checklist, then return the turtle to close proximity to where you found it. Do not take it home and do not release anywhere else, but do not put it back on the road. 
Make sure that you make notes of your journey in your notebook so that you do not forget the data. It is very important that you be as accurate as possible. Notice that I have placed the turtle in the grass along the ditch. Notice that the turtle has very good camouflage located in the grass. Its yellow markings are matching the, the light colors in the grass and the dark green allows the turtle to blend right in. 